The United Community Options of South Florida recently held its eighth annual fundraising gala at the Colonnade Hotel in Coral Gables. Buen Provecho Miami raises money to support programs to help over 1,500 children and adults with developmental disabilities throughout South Florida's counties, including Miami-Dade. We are extremely proud to be here. Um, this is We love being a part of the community. For us, it's one of the most important things, really, to give back to... You know, not only do we provide amazing food, but we want to show the communities that, that we're, here to, we're here to help them. Our company in South Florida has been working with this charity for over 25 years. Um, it's a great cause. It was formerly United Cerebral Palsy of South Florida. This is just a very great community event, and um, it's a good opportunity to eat some awesome food and drink some good wine. We love it in Coral Gables. Uh, you know, you, Coral Gables, everyone knows Coral Gables. Is, it's like the city that doesn't sleep to some extent like New York and it's the fifth year we have it in this hotel and you know they want us here and you know we're excited to have it here year after year. Attendees were able to enjoy live music, dancing, a silent auction and a unique dining experience arranged by four talented chefs. I am looking forward to this event tonight. My wife and I we, we signed up and we bought our tickets uh, about six months ago so we're excited to be here. It's primarily for people that have developmental and intellectual disabilities. So we serve children all the way to adults and including employment services. And we provide services in Miami-Dade, Broward and Palm Beach counties. Radio host personality Enrique Santos was the master of ceremony of Buen Provecho Miami for a second year in a row. I feel great. I feel great. You know, Darlene and George uh, Perez are pillars of this community and to see them bring so many different people, so many different companies together for this great cause. Um, it's, it's like uh, I really feel identified, number one. You know, I'm blessed to have a platform where I have so many different people that listen to my program every day. They hear me. I don't get to see much of them. So anytime that I'm able to get out of my radio booth and, and connect with the community, I think it's very important, especially for a cause like this one. If you want to learn more about the United Community Options of South Florida, its missions, and different programs, visit the website on your screen at unitedcommunityoptionsfl.org. Reporting for Coral Gables Television, I'm Diana Herrera.